Keanu Reeves' adventures as the ex-retired legendary assassin reaches a new chapter with the upcoming John Wick 4 film. And we've got some good news for all fans out there. There are more dogs. Yep, you heard us right, folks. The fourth film will have the biggest focus on dogs yet, and the director recently talked about all the work that went into achieving that. Here's everything we know so far. Starting off with Rough Stay at Work. Ever since the inception of the John Wick franchise, dogs have played an important part in the story. The first one was, of course, Daisy the Beagle, who pretty much set the events of the last three films into motion with her tragic death. However, in John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum, the canine characters were taken to a whole other level and began being used as deadly weapons by Sofia, the manager of the Casablanca branch of the Continental Hotel. The latest trailer for the next installment in the franchise, Chapter 4, reveals that there are going to be more ruthless dogs on the way, and Chad Stahelski, the franchise director, has a lot to say about them. In a recent interview, Stahelski gave us an in-depth look at the behind-the-scenes processes it took to make it possible for dogs to play their parts in all the crazy action typical of a John Wick film. Just like any kind of actor, these also need to receive training to perform their respective action sequences, and this meant that for many of the fellow stunt performers, their daily job was to, well, play with the dogs. Give us a second while we see if they've got any job openings right now. Let's take a look at how they trained the dogs. According to Stahelski, while there was going to be one female dog character in the film, there were five other dogs, three females and two males, who were compiled into one dog together since they couldn't use the same dog for every kind of stunt. He explained that while they had learned a lot from the last film, they wanted to get a bit more creative with the next film, with just over five months left to get the dogs used to working with the cast and also on the stunts. Since there were multiple stunt teams for the film, because of the sheer size of the film, there were many people that dogs would be interacting with, and as such, every stuntman had to get used to the dogs. In order for the dogs to be playful and safe, they needed to have the same level of confidence a human would, so they had to spend time with each individual stunt actor in one-hour rotations. One of the ten lead stunt team actors would play with the canines every hour. That's it. They just had to go in, get tackled a bunch of times, and play frisbee. Now that's a dream job if we've ever seen one. However, it's not just dogfighting that the action is going to be focused on. It's been almost three years ever since the last time we last saw Wick doing what he does best, creatively murdering his assailants and taking care of his cute dog companions. The franchise has since grown into a cultural and commercial phenomenon, leaving fans shaking with anticipation for another installment in the franchise of Reeves' suit-clad Slayer. On the 10th of November, Lionsgate released yet another trailer for the upcoming Chapter 4, and it throws audiences right back into the world of neon-soaked chaos. The trailer opened with the titular character lighting a votive candle in an elegant church. He then talks about his late wife and also has a quick yet cryptic conversation with Donnie Yen's character Kane, an old friend and fellow hitman. The promo then speeds up and gives us a glimpse at several of the much-awaited blood-pumping action scenes. They include Wick shooting a pistol out of a doorless muscle car while doing donuts around the Arc de Triomphe, and another scene scene shows him on a horseback chase through the desert, while naturally shooting a gun. It even teased a climactic duel between him and Bill Skarsgård's Marquis de Gramont, who appears to be this entry's big bad villain. There's also an air of finality to this trailer, as characters can be seen constantly talking about death, while a macabre version of Seasons in the Sun by Terry Jacks plays in the background. Though previous films have also mixed in a little bit of grim philosophical action with its cheery dose of outrageous violence, on the other hand, Will Chapter 4 be the last film in the franchise? Well, the good news is that there's no actual confirmation that the upcoming film will be the last in the franchise, as originally there had been plans to shoot both the fourth and fifth installments in one go at the beginning of 2021, though those plans obviously didn't come to pass. In the same interview, Stahelski also mentions that it would ultimately be the studio's decision whether another sequel ends up getting made. However, he implied that it was pretty likely that they'd get the green light. Considering how well each of the last films has been received, we won't be surprised if the fifth film gets the go-ahead either. After all, who can say no to more John Wick? Furthermore, the fourth film is also going to be the longest one in the franchise. We're getting closer and closer to the highly anticipated return of Baba Yaga on the big screen, and while Keanu Reeves is going to be gracing our screens once again as the titular assassin, it's also going to be his longest outing yet, according to Stahelski himself. 
Over the course of the series, the Wick films have slowly been growing longer and longer. We started off at a crisp 1 hour and 41 minutes with the first film, and recently ended off at the 2 hour and 11 minute mark for the most recent Chapter 3. Considering the fact that this film is going to be crossing that mark, Stahelski gave us some insights into the runtime and its important role in appealing to the average moviegoer. When asked about what went into deciding what the perfect length for a movie is, the director confessed that, well, he was perfectly fine with longer films, he also understood the frustration with longer ones. However, he believes that Chapter 4 made up most of its elongated runtime through the use of world building and high octane action. Stahelski also added that he's going with his gut for the film, using his own instincts as a filmmaker in order to make the extra length worthwhile, and so far, his gut hasn't really steered him wrong up to this point. Plus, for anyone criticizing the runtime of the latest film, he's also explained that there was a good reason for the film to be longer, simply that there's a lot more stuff in the film than in the last ones. Meanwhile, there are still more stories left to tell in the Wickverse. The first John Wick spin-off series, The Continental, has recently found its international streaming home at Amazon Prime Video. The prequel series is being both co-written and co-produced by Greg Coolidge and Kirk Ward, and is going to take fans back in time in order to explore the humble beginnings of the assassin-exclusive Continental Hotel, diving deeper into its behind-the-scenes workings. It's going to be told from the perspective of a younger Winston Scott, the hotel manager, who is now played by Colin Woodle because of the difference in time. The three-part series will follow Winston's journey through the 70s New York underworld and see him battle demons from his past while attempting to take control of the iconic hotel. Additionally, Keanu Reeves has also been spotted in Prague and is set to reprise his role as the titular assassin in Ballerina, the spin-off film starring Anna Diarmas. The film will also see Ian McShane return to reprise the role of Winston, the manager of the Continental Hotel. However, it's not yet clear if Reeves' reprisal will come as a cameo appearance or whether he'll have a much larger part to play in the overarching plot. We also don't know if the film is going to be taking place prior to the events of the first entry or if it's going to fit in a bit closer to the upcoming fourth installment. And finally, when is Chapter 4 coming out? Reeves is going to reunite with his Matrix co-star Lawrence Fishburne in this next outing. The film is also going to see the return of Sharon, who joins the impressive cast alongside the likes of Donnie Yen, Bill Skarsgård, Hiroyuki Sanada, and Clancy Brown. Not to mention, the fourth film will see Wick on his path to defeating the High Table. However, before he can earn his freedom, he must face off against a whole new enemy that has powerful alliances across the globe, forcing old friends to turn into foes. Mark your calendars, folks, because John Wick 4 will be hitting theaters on March 23rd, 2023. You definitely don't want to miss this one. And that's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on seeing more dog action in the upcoming John Wick film? And do you think it's going to be the last film in the franchise? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.